Namaste, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankam Marketing Channel. In this video, we are going to talk about what is author instance and publish instance by taking an example. This video is part of AEM authoring series, the link for which I will leave it out in the description box. Please check it out if you are interested. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's get started with the presentation. Creative images, reports and text. Everything which has to be part of a website has to be drafted first. So AEM with the help of an author instance will provide us with an opportunity to add the elements to the web page and check how they look like so that authors can create a draft version of a web page. Once the draft version is created, it goes to the approval process. This is where the draft content will be reviewed by someone superior, maybe by a lead author or a digital manager and the content will be reviewed and approved. So once the content is approved, then it moves on to the publish instance for public consumption. So once the content is on the publish instance, it is when the actual end user will be able to see that site or web page or the content reflected on the page. So author instance is where the content drafting and approval process happens and once approved everything on the publish instance is for the public consumption. Now having understood this let's go ahead and see how the end user will be able to see our web page or the content. The flow starts from here by entering URL into the web browser. Let's say our user is somewhere in USA and opening the web browser and hitting a particular URL into the browser. Then that request travels through the internet at lightning speed and it reaches the nearest CDN. So what is the CDN? CDNs are content delivery networks. So these are the servers which are available all over the world. Examples of the CDNs are Akamai or Cloudflare. So once the URL is entered in the browser, it hits the nearest CDN. And if the request is all about to get the static HTML pages or JavaScript pages or CSS pages, then, then that content will be delivered through CDN itself. So let's say our web server is actually in India and the request is made from the USA. The request instead of going all the way to Hyderabad from USA, it hits the nearest CDN. And if it is, and if the request is all about the static content, it will get delivered directly from the CDN. But if it is a special request, which needs the loading of the dynamic pages, then it will go and hit the web server, which is located in India. Inside the web server, we have something called as dispatcher. So dispatcher acts as a security gateway, load balancer, and also a caching mechanism. So it will cache the HTML pages, which are generated by previous requests. For example, if home page is requested by someone else, then the HTML page which was generated for that home page will be cached in the dispatcher instance. Again, if the request is a dynamic request and if it cannot be served through the dispatcher, then it will hit the publish instance. As we have discussed earlier, public instance is also an AEM instance, which is hosted on a server, just like the author instance. But whatever is authored on the author instance is not directly visible to the user, but the content which is present on the publish instance is directly visible. So the user request will come and hit this publish instance. This is where the AEM framework will trigger. It will render the page and serve that content ultimately into the client's browser. So this is how the content flows from author to publish and then based on the URL, the content will be retrieved from publish to the user's browser. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Jai Hind.